I was a weird kid. I had a ginormous head and a tiny body. I had this voice. I found a DVD. I found a DVD of my, my cousin's seventh birthday party that my aunt took from a tape and put it on a DVD and I watched it. And my little cousin's just playing pinball and then I just trot into the shot and I'm like, when the light goes off, it means you're done. I'm like, oh my God, that's a lifelong thing. What, did a witch curse my mom when she was pregnant? Your son will have the voice of thunder. <laughs> In the head of a float. <laughs> it is, like, fuck this deep voice. I would have liked it if I was alive like 70 years ago. I could have been one of those groups. Well, all I do is just go, oh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> And some record executives like, that guy's got talent. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I had that voice as a kid. For a single mom. My mom's just trying to catch some D on the weekend. <laughs> and I come bumbling down the hall like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, nope, sorry, later. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of effort. Single mom in the 80s dating? That's some fucking effort. Now you can just Tinder from the couch. <laughs> Keep swiping left until you find your kid a new dad. <laughs> oh, is that not how that works? I'm sorry that I believe in love. My mom used to date out of the classifieds. That's commitment. A lot of young people don't even know what that is. Yeah, there was a time before the internet. There used to be a time before the internet, before Match.com, when people used to fish for dick out of the back of the paper. <laughs> We got my stepdad out of the paper. Like a used Buick. <laughs> my mom highlighted his ad, was like, I'm gonna check with the previous owner, but that looks pretty good. So I felt bad, that's what happens. You grow up and you just, I just feel like incredibly bad that my mom was like alone just raising this fucking strange only child. Because every only child is weird. You're a weird kid because you're the only kid. It's just adults, so you converse with adults like, very maturely, like, uh-huh, and then you get around kids, you're like, what do you, do I bite you or fight you? I don't know. <laughs> it's all about you, because you're the only kid. Adults are just like, oh, hi, child, and you feel like a fancy young emperor, where you're like, I want a Nintendo for Christmas. <laughs> and I was a weird kid. I talked to myself a lot, did other weird shit. I'll admit it to you guys. For two months, when I was eight years old, I thought I was possessed by the devil. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at that. Some audiences just don't react like it's an admission of guilt. They're like, oh, you were the Dark Lord. Okay. I watched The Exorcism and The Omen back to back, left my friend's house, and I was like, I'm probably the devil. <laughs> if I wasn't, why would all those dogs bark at me every time I walk down the alley? Here's the shitty part. I wasn't even confident about it. Like, how much does that suck? I imagine if you're the devil, you're like, bow down before me. I was walking around like, everyone's gonna hate me. I don't wanna rule the world with evil. <laughs> I was like an emo devil. That's what I was, I was an emo Satan. I was like, mm, I'm a fallen angel. Couldn't even fucking enjoy it. That summer, my mom sent me to summer camp for the first time, and when you don't have a lot of money and you go to summer camp, it is always church affiliated, uh, which I didn't know. I just showed up for the first day of camp, saw a bunch of crucifixes, and I was like, they are gonna be so mad <laughs> when they find out the devil is in cabin six. Ironic booking. Honestly, completely forgot that I might or might not be the Dark Lord. Completely, I had such a great time. I made new friends, I ziplined. Uh, I learned how to build a fire. It's pretty important if you're the devil. <sighs> I touched a horse for the first time. Yeah, me and one lady, everyone else. Apparently grew up riding fucking show ponies. So, I didn't know the show in Philly was gonna be all equestrians. The peasant boy touched a horse when he was... <laughs> it even made that horse noise when I touched its face. It was like... <laughs> I was like, oh. 
that night they were like, all right, everybody, it's dinner time. We're gonna serve Salisbury steak, uh, which it wasn't. It was just hamburger patties covered in this mushroom sauce. But I'm dumb, so I was like, oh, Salisbury steak. I wonder how, I, how many I can fit into my giant head. I ate probably a good five or six, and then almost immediately after I was done eating, they're like, all right, everybody, time to go outside for a prayer circle, which I had never seen. I wasn't raised religious, so it just looked like a fucked up game of Red Rover. <laughs> but I'm a follower, so I joined in. I also harmonized badass, I found out. <laughs> and what it is, is it was just a bunch of little kids singing to Jesus, and I was having the greatest time of my life, just singing these love songs to the sky. About five minutes in, my stomach turned. And I started sweating uncontrollably. I had two thoughts at that exact moment. Number one, that wasn't Salisbury steak. Number two, if you throw up, everyone will know that you're the devil. Everyone. What would make the devil throw up more than young children singing love songs to Jesus? <laughs> I'm sitting there fighting as hard as I can at eight years old. Just like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And then we go to hit a high note where we're like, Jesus! And I just start violently projectile vomiting. Violently. Gray, colorless matter. You know, like the devil would. And I'm not throwing up like a cute eight-year-old. I'm not like, oh, my tum-tum. I'm like yelling it out of my face like, ah, ah, ah. Everyone is staring at me. Everyone at camp was staring at me. And all I could hear in my head was, oh, hey, ha, ha. Oh, hey, ha, ha. Oh, hey, ha, ha, ha. I'm just like, Bleh. I'm not the devil. I'm not the devil, your mother sucks cock in hell. <laughs> then I fucking left. I left. The next morning, I went home. You know that weird kid that goes home early? Yeah, that was me. Uh, that kid's the devil, and the devil goes home early. 